good? Yes. Right here? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to be sharing something with you that could end up saving your life in Mexico. You had to be so awkward with that, right? I don't know, you looked at me weird. Many people, when they come to Mexico, they're afraid of the cartel, they're afraid of violence, but really, there is something that is very dangerous in Mexico, and the scary thing about it is that it's silent and deadly, and you don't see it coming, and that is carbon monoxide, CO poisoning. And the mosquitoes. So if the mosquitoes don't get you and the cartel doesn't get you, you could have to worry about the CO poisoning. And in fact, CO poisoning is such a big threat. For example, every year, according to the CDC, at least 420... The mosquitoes sitting on the detector. It is. According to the CDC, every year at least... Every year, at least 420 people die in the U.S. from accidental CO poisoning. More than 100,000 people in the U.S. visit the emergency department each year due to accidental CO poisoning. That's a lot of people. And that's not even counting how many people are dying and going or getting sick in other countries. So whenever you're visiting another country, especially a country like Mexico or some other countries that don't require smoke detectors or... Um, just kill it because I can't. Oh. Where'd it go? It's here. It's among us. Now it's gonna get us. It's important whenever you're visiting another country, such as Mexico, that doesn't require smoke detectors or carbon monoxide, because you want to have also smoke detectors also, um, to get yourself a portable smoke detector and carbon monoxide alarm. We personally decided to get a two-in-one because who wants to carry around two different devices, right? So this is a smoke, de smoke detector and a CO detector alarm. So what we got is from Amazon, it's called Lee Cool Life. We went to the Home Depot and they didn't sell it. So you may not get it at Walmart or Home Depot. You may have to order on Amazon and get it shipped here from the US. So the one we have is Lee Cool Life and we tested it out and it works. And we're gonna show you guys how you can test it out also. Keep in mind, you're gonna hear a lot about a, uh, a lot of people dying in Mexico because of CO poisoning. A lot of Americans dying of CO poisoning. But as Brittany just mentioned to you guys, there are tons of statistics that show that Americans die in the United States all the time from CO poisoning. You're not gonna hear that on the news. You're only gonna hear when people die in Mexico and they're Americans from CO poisoning because of course, the news wants to scare you, right? Don't come to Mexico because it's the worst place on earth. And as soon as you come here, you're gonna die. So we decided to pick up one of these. Uh, we tested it out. The reason why we tested this thing out separately from just pressing and holding a button like this, that's the test, right? If you ask the company, is because it's not a brand that we've ever heard of. It's not a kitty, which are super expensive, and you can only buy, from what we can see, you can only buy them in one or the other, a smoke detector and a CO detector. But we actually bought a bunch of these, and one of the reasons why is because we can carry one around with us wherever we go. So keep it in mind, really, really invaluable purchase. Even if you have to buy separate ones, whatever you want to do, mosquito! I got it! You can also die from diseases from mosquitoes, so make sure you take care of those. Something I wanted to point out about the CO and smoke detector is that this is supposedly good for 10 years. It came with batteries. You do not need to replace these batteries. Once you buy this, you are good to go. But don't take our word for it. You should test yours out and make sure that it works. And so that'll be coming up right next. I'm gonna put it right in here. Put this under the tailpipe. All right, guys, as you can see, that light came on. Pretty soon it should be beeping. There you go. That's how you test your carbon monoxide detector. And now we're gonna go ahead and test our fire extinguisher portion of this machine. 
I have a wet rag here. You guys, I don't suggest you do this. And I'm not telling you not to do it. You make your own decisions. This is how I'm testing it. Same thing with the CO. You guys make your own decisions. I can't tell you what's safe or not for you. So we're gonna go ahead and take this wet rag. We're gonna set it on fire. And then we're gonna go ahead and hold the detector near it. So as you guys saw, we tested this with smoke and we tested it with CO and it was very responsive with both. Now, keep in mind if you decide to buy one of these or even another brand, when testing it, it's very important to read the manual first. It seems like a very good product so far and it's very, very convenient because it's a two-in-one. So whether you guys decide to test these the way we tested them or you have your own way of testing them or even if you just want to press the button in order to test it, we still recommend you guys pick one of these up, whether you're in Mexico or not. So this is kind of like just a public service announcement at this point. Also pretty recent, just looking now, it says June 14th, 2023. That was last month. Um, according to appnews.com, it says two Americans found dead at a hotel in Mexico, Baja, California, soar. There have been several cases of such deaths in Mexico due to poisoning by carbon monoxide and other gases. Such gases are often produced by improperly vented or leaky water heaters and stoves. In October, three U.S. citizens found dead at a rented apartment in Mexico, apparently victims of gas inhalation. These are just a couple of examples. And we recently actually stayed at a hotel recently ourselves. And just to show you how bad the ventilation is, I mean, you could be going to a hotel, for example, or Airbnb, and let's say you're in an apartment or hotel, and the person above you has carbon monoxide, and it could just come in. We were in a room, and the person above us, we think, was smoking, and we could smell, we turned the air conditioning on, the cigarettes. And that's just how strong it was. It was like someone was smoking inside the room, but there wasn't anyone. Yeah, we don't know who it was, but somehow cigarette smoke got into the ventilation system and came into our room. So imagine if that was worse. Imagine if it wasn't a cigarette. Imagine if, if it was a boiler or something. I don't know. And then all of a sudden you're sleeping and through the vents, that ends up happening. So. Very good idea to just pick one of these up no matter where you are and carry it with you when you go on trips. So definitely something that you want to take with you whether you're traveling, traveling to Mexico or Europe or the US even, <laughs> wherever you go. All right guys, hope this was helpful and uh, please feel free to like, subscribe and share this so that you can save other people's lives in case they're not aware of this stuff. A lot of people don't take this stuff seriously. So share this video to help other people be as safe as you will be when you pick one of these That's up. That's all for today. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content like this. Thank you for your support and we'll catch you at the next video.